All right, so this is the new setup. I've, well, I'm moving stuff around again. <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't know. I could not get the other TV to work with the Pi Star. Um, it was like it was it was cutting it off like right here, and I don't know why. And every time I would change the resolution. It would keep changing. So oh, I tried to change it in the TV. That didn't work either. Uh, I actually did find out how to uh, configure the uh, the Pi to not turn off. Um, let me see if I can show you guys that. Um, I searched all over the internet. And they had me typing in command codes and all sorts of... Uh, ridiculous crap. So here's our mouse. We have a wired mouse. Okay, we're gonna go into here. Uh, preferences. Uh, um, and you would think it would be screen configuration, but it's not. So it's a uh, Raspberry Pi configuration. Let's see. And then it comes up through here. Uh, display. See, it says screen blanking. You need to turn that off. Once you do that, this thing just stays on. So, um, they did not really tell you that. You go look it up on the internet, and they want you to do all this other crazy stuff. Um, so, what this, uh, does is it works like a Geocron, and you can configure some other stuff. So you got my call sign here. We have the day in Zulu. It's 542 Zulu Z UTC. And then it gives you like my grid square and all that. And the DX, their UTC, their uh, grid square, whatever the hell. And it shows like these guys are here and here and here. Um, and then these things, they change. So... Um, I don't know why this would be considered DX. Um, so we, earlier we've seen all the VKs and all that on here. Now these are uh, reported on the, the DX cluster. So um, I believe that you can just kind of change that. So I think also if we take our mouse and we hover over where it says DX, it'll uh, allow us to select uh, different things. I don't know why you would select satellites, but anyway. Um, okay. So, um, that's what happens if you right-click it. And I accidentally shut down the <laughs> entire ham clock. Uh, so I guess we just click that. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. So usually this thing just starts on its own. Okay. So this is how it starts up when it boots. And then you can, you know, go into the setup. Let me show you. Uh, okay. So you would enter your call sign, your grid square, all that. Uh, this is a huge TV, by the way. This is, you know, pretty big. I mean, you can see the radios and stuff down here. Um... So, you do all that, and uh, it'll allow oh, you. You can change this. This default is like some goofy rainbow thing. Um, skip. So, uh, if you don't like the color that your name is in, you don't like it being in rainbow, you can. Come up here, and you can click this, and you just change it. There's a couple of other settings. Yeah, see the default, it'll look like this. You'll have the rainbow background. So, um, then, uh, you can configure everything you click on, you can configure it, but, um, 
I haven't played around with it much. I'm just using it to um, check out the DX stuff, you know. But it's pretty cool. So that's what I've been up to when I've been using this other radio. The um, big old Cadillac. There's not really been anything on the radio tonight. It was like a few people on earlier. It almost sounds like there's like just nothing happening. This VFO is like silky smooth too. So now you see here, these two just popped up, ZL6 Bravo and JA2IGY. These ones here have been getting spotted all damn night. VK6RBP, and then the, the guy in Hawaii. And I'm not sure why he disappeared so fast. So see as they start to change color, and then eventually, they will disappear from the map. Four S B seven or four S seven B Z S six D N in South Africa. Five Z four B. So um, I think if we come in here and we click on this. Uh, Cancel. Thought there was a way to like. Come on. I don't know. I thought there was a way to like click on them and uh, look them up, but apparently not. I mean, maybe there is, and I don't know what this thing means. Cancel for CS3B. We got South America, Central America. It's pretty cool. Um, the colors, I think, represent also the band that it's on. Uh, 